that. One of the technical things that we had been distracted with, and, and I do hope to have a write-up about soon, but but I, I definitely wanted to to tear myself away so that we can we could get this completed was our sweet CRM integration. Uh, so the, we were we were able to uh, to complete that. Um, uh, as we mentioned, we had done that last uh, at the very end of last quarter. End of the so, quarter. So we 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 finished the quarter with that, and uh, now we wanted to touch on an overview of of what sweet CRM is, you know, and what a sweet CRM it is. It it really is, uh, and and I I got a chance to play around with it really uh, this past week and dive into the documentation and go through which which I will definitely have linked in the overview since I don't right now. Um, that's that's where I pulled a lot of this from uh, and pulled out some anecdotal uh, just you know what what is it like uh, dealing with a CRM for so. For those who aren't aware, I keep throwing around this term, you know, CRM. So what what is a CRM? Uh, so a CRM is a customer relationship managed uh, software, uh, and and that manages. Actually, let me pull up their documentation once again. Another open source project with amazing documentation, right? So I was I'm I'm just very very happy to see that as well. That's that's always a good indicator uh right of of the strength and and the health of a project right so they even have here you know what is a crm so just going from the documentation customer relationship management is a business strategy most often supported by a technology solution crm is used to manage your interactions with customers and prospective customers when implemented correctly it's proven to build valuable relationships that will drive revenue and growth so like the age old question, how do you remember someone's birthday, right? Um, if you are sales uh, focused or, or, or business relationship focused, your answer is probably going to be it's in my CRM, right? Because your CRM is where you're keeping all your information about your clients, your relationships, your vendors, your uh, your your everything, right? And, and the thought there is to let's track all the aspects of this relationship in one place, right? So this is everything I bought from you, everything you've bought from me, you know, when we had emails, when have we reached out to you in phone calls? When have you reached out to us in phone calls, you know, and, and kind of tracking, you know, what, what does that look like? Then you can really start breaking it down and you can say, all right, how much, you know, in calls are we getting? How many calls are we giving, you know, making out, um, you know, how much, uh, interaction are we really having with with customers and how beneficial is that interaction to us uh, and and to go into how sweet crm does it right so sweet crm takes all of this information and kind of breaks it up into like let's make this modular right let's have kind of components that fit together much like a and and i think i made this comment before but much like a database does right you're you're just going to have different kind of uh units that that can uh, interact with each other and have different relationships with each other um some of them here they have accounts uh, organizations, uh, leads. So like leads are going to be a part of organizations, right? And if you get an account from a lead, you know, that lead will be a part of that account, but the lead is also its own separate thing where you can keep track of. So there's a lot of different ways you can start looking into this data with sweet CRM. Yeah. The one thing I noticed about this app was that it was, it is a beast of an application. I loaded it up, I checked it out and it has a lot going on in it. It does. And and that's a trend about these enterprise type solutions is that they are, they are very advanced database display engines, right? So, so they're, they're sure. going to yeah. be, they're going to be throwing a lot of information at you and they're going to be making a lot of these uh, relationships readily apparent that you wouldn't see and and sometimes even that you don't care about so the the way to navigate that is to understand what you're looking for out of this tool uh, right so so to that point they do have uh, different modules that you can do stuff with the data with so like their spots uh, those can create different graphs and charts so a, a, a very visual representation uh, of that data that you're looking at um, you can put 
uh, these things into different user defined workflows. Uh, so you can have some kind of automation already built into the tool itself. Uh, and then you also have projects and tasks as far as like managing work to be done. Uh, so as your employees or coworkers or whoever's logging into this is, is working on it, right? You're kind of organi organizing what has to be done, right? Um, and as far as, as setup goes, right, the, the idea here is, is administrators are going to create the users of the instance inside of that application. Uh, and then those users be placed in roles and security groups that follow the least principle of least privilege, right? Uh, so your, your primary diving in point is going to be, all right, let's see who I need to be working with the system and create those accounts, right? Uh, and then grant those accounts the various permissions they need to do the things that they need to do. Uh, and then you start importing your data into the software and say, all right, what relationships do we have? What components of that relationship do I want to mark down? Now, and you don't have to use everything at your fingertips here, right? You can use one or two things out of here if that's what you're looking for. Uh, it just has a really easy integration because it's all within the same application that you can, you can, cross index all of this information, right? You can have it at your fingertips. Um, as far as what this looks like, and, and Jack, this is going to be kind of your experience having loaded it up and, and taken a look at it. Uh, you were instantly showed the, the, the home page, right? So that's, that's the first page that displays to you after you, you log into the, the software. Um, the home page has a couple of various elements that can be used and configured such as dashlets, dashboards, and the sidebar. Uh, so to dive into two of those, uh, dashlets are user configurable sections displayed on the home page that give you a quick overview of your records and activity immediately after login. So after login, you probably saw, you know, my calls to make, you know, my open appointments, you know, my top 10 leads, uh, all being empty, of course, because you have none currently at this stage, but uh, those were all of the information that would be displayed to you immediately after login. Most likely the kind of core part of, of your work, you know, that you would continue to go back to and reference, you know, it, it being your dashboard that you look at and say, all right, you know, I know I have these 10 leads I want to follow up with today and these five phone calls to make, these emails to respond to, you know, yada, yada. Uh, and, and that would all be presented to you right up there in the front. And, and yeah, it can be overwhelming if you're not familiar with it. But given the chance to to get your feet wet, as it were, dive into it. Yeah, you're you're really going to to love that kind of right in front of me feeling that you get uh, with this is this is exactly you know what what's going to be uh, waiting for me so i thought that was pretty cool uh now you can also create multiple of these dashboards so so this is actually relatively new in that uh before you only had a, a dashboard that you can create. Now you can create multiple dashboards for multiple different use cases, right? Um, say throughout your day, you need to focus in on, on something rather than something else. You can create a dashboard just with those dashlets on it. Uh, and you can kind of pick and choose and be a little bit more choosy about what you're actually seeing uh, on that instance there. So that's that's amazing too. I, I love that ability. Um, lastly, the the... Only other thing on that dashboard that's not a, a dashlet, I guess it could be a dashlet, but it's it's one that takes up the entire right half of the stream, uh, and that's the activity stream, uh, and that displays any recent updates for the opportunities, contacts, leads, and cases modules. So so all these modules, uh, tables in a database, if you were, that Sweet CRM is is keeping track of. That activity stream is going to display anytime anyone updates something on it. So you are kept abreast of what your teammates are doing and able to, to, to stay up to date with, with what's going on. So I think that's a, that's a really handy feature that I don't think independently I would have thought of. Uh, but you know, being able to see, oh, what changed recently and let's have that on the front page. You know, if that becomes important and it, it will, if you know, you go to reach out to someone that, your coworker did earlier today already reached out to sure that's not going to look great that's not going to look great right so so that activity stream gives you a, a good heads up uh and and a good communication tool uh with everyone else you're working with 
And as I've been going over, uh, all these modules have their own individual quirks and, you know, fields and, and kind of relevant information, you know, because an opportunity would have a lot of different information than a lead uh, or a case or a contact or an organization or account, right? These are all different uh, modules, as Sweet CRM calls them, that are going to contain different fields that are relevant to what they represent. Uh, however, within the CRM, you're going to be presented with various views for each of these modules. There are three main views for every module. The first one is a list view, right? This is the view that you're presented with when you navigate to your desired module. That's going to show you all the entries in that module. So if I go to the contacts, it's going to show me all the contacts in a type of list view and have uh, various fields highlighted. Uh, the detail view, once I select one of those that I want to look at, uh, that's the view that you're presented with when you when you go in and view the record. This is this is that detailed view. So it's going to show me in a very nice, you know, logically laid out type of way. If it's a, if it's a contact, it's going to have their name, their phone number, you know, their email address. You know, it's it's just going to be a, a form of all of their information. Maybe time they were last contacted or or whatnot. It would, we're going to be uh, really looking into what relationships and, and, and what information we can glean out of this, uh, how we can get our best bang for our buck. You know, what, what modules do we need? What do we not, you know, how do we display them, uh, efficiently? Uh, so not having gone in that, I don't know what that detail view would look like, but I'm, um, I'm very expectant that there's going to be a lot that we can really chew on in there. Uh, and then the last one is going to be the edit view. And that's that's very similar to the detail view. And that's when you go into edit those fields that you were previously looking at. And I think I'm going to end there, uh, you know, just, just to kind of summarize right here. Sweet CRM is an open source CRM software solution. Uh, they say that provides a 360 degree view of your customers and business. And with all of the information that you can put in there, I believe them.